respond to that in real time but if you're having a good day that's great if you're not i pray that things get better for you good morning it is my morning routine i finally go around to filming one of these in the flat i feel like i did like three of these like just in the time of quarantine last year so it's been a while so today i'm going to take you through like a typical morning routine for like a day where i'm going to work early or going to uni early obviously if i'm not having to be out of the house early in the morning i'm not going to be getting up at 6 a.m but i do try and keep that consistent just to help my sleep schedule not be completely out of whack normally in the mornings obviously on a busy day i'd get up at 6 a.m and go to the gym so that's where i'm about to head in terms of what i do at the gym because i know if i don't say i'll get questions I'm actually currently working through like an eight week program. I'm following it very roughly in my head because I don't go to the gym six days a week. I just go whenever it suits. Normally that ends up being like three or four days a week. The workout plan I have at the moment I bought from State of Wellness, which is Beth Park. She's on Instagram. She runs a page on Instagram called State of Wellness. She has a degree in psychology and also is a personal trainer, like a qualified personal trainer. So she put together some workout plans and you can pay to have them like customized so i paid to have her tone and cut eight week challenge customized to my goals which were to just basically tone up a little bit nothing serious just had to have a goal i guess so yeah i bought that like three weeks ago yes yeah, so i'm up to week three i'm following it very roughly well as i said because i just don't go to the gym sort of like six days a week which is totally fine because it means i can kind of pick and choose what workouts i do during the week monday i did arms tuesday i did legs but region and today I'm doing the cardio. Cardio is my least favorite. I don't know why. That's not a huge fan but yeah I'm gonna head over to the gym. Um, normally I spend sort of like half an hour or 40 yeah normally I spend about 45 minutes at the gym so it's just enough to like, kind of get my heart rate up. Little active wear haul. Tights are from Embrace. This is Simone Anderson's brand. I bought these when I met her when they had the like open day meet and greet. I don't even know you'd call it. Jumpers from Puma. I literally got this in like year 11. And then the top and the sports bra are both from Lorna Jane. I also have a code for Lorna Jane which is Emma20 for 20% off full price. I don't know if you want to use that. Oh yeah and my shoes added as ultra boosts and I've had these also for like two years. Need to get some new ones because there is currently no grip on the bottom but that is fine. Let's go to the gym! I also forgot to add it is one degree this morning. I'm recording this in the middle of an arctic blast so it is very cold. I woke up yesterday morning to go to the gym and it was nine degrees. That's cold but like I can deal with that and yesterday it progressively got colder. It didn't get warmer during the day it got colder and so woke up this morning one degree. That's fine. That's whatever. I live in Hamilton. You gotta expect these sorts of things. the first round but I wouldn't need copyright for this music but six rounds to repeat not that hard but cardio is not my thing Home. I'm home a bit later than normal. It's currently quarter to eight. Normally I try and get home around like seven-ish, but everything just takes ten times longer when you vlog it. I don't know why. It just does. At this point I get home and jump in the shower real quick. I do need to wash my hair because I haven't done that in like three days. And I sweated a lot during that, so I kind of like, you know, when you sweat you kind of like brush it back. Firstly, having water in the garage, game changing. Secondly, use my old Kmart shower caddy from College Hall at university as a pig basket. Game changing. Anyway, let's go make some breakfast. As you can see, we're here in the kitchen and we currently, let me just show you. This is our bread situation. We have four crusts. We went to bed last night knowing full well we didn't have bread, but I could not be bothered going to the supermarket to get some more. And so I was like, okay, cool. I'll just make pancakes for breakfast. We don't have eggs. So currently Googling an egg alternative. There's 13 alternatives and most of them are health foods. So that kind of rules out most of them. Apple sauce, don't have that. Mashed bananas, don't have bananas. Vinegar and baking soda. 
Mixing one teaspoon of baking soda and a tablespoon of vinegar can replace one egg. We're gonna use baking soda and vinegar to make this work. I'm literally hoping you can't taste the vinegar. I feel like when they, you know what? We don't really have options, we're gonna make this work. The recipe I'm gonna use is just this one, I'll link it down below, it's a Sunday pancake recipe from Chelsea Sugar. Let me get the ingredients out, we can do a little time lapse. so you can make the mixture and then we'll cook it together, how about that? I did the exact same thing with cocoa powder two days ago. I think I should just not bring my phone into the kitchen anymore. the vinegar sort of situation so I'll see how they taste um, I just defrosted some berries what I want to say and the reason I'm sitting here filming me awkwardly eating my breakfast is because in the mornings you guys may have noticed compared to previous morning routines where it was like wake up lay in bed 15 minutes scroll through social media we don't do that anymore she's a changed woman I've made this kind of like rule with myself now where I'm not allowed to go on social media until I have read my Bible for the day. So this is the time where I read my Bible. So I sit down, make some breakfast. I'm currently reading Proverbs, if you're curious. To decide what I read for the day, I use the Bible app. So I go into plans, I go into Bible project. I've talked about this before, but it's a plan where you read the Bible over the course of 365 days, which is pretty cool. So I'm currently a little bit ahead of schedule. I'm up to day 195, which should be 15th of July, but it's currently the 30th of June. Um, so today I'm reading Proverbs 4, 5, and 6, so then I'll just open up my Bible, read those bits. I have a highlighter and a pen, so I highlight like key verses and things that stand out to me, and then I write a little like note next to it if I feel it's necessary, and then I'll date it as well, so when I'm looking back through my Bible in the future, I can be like, oh, that's like what happened on that day. You can also read the Bible from the app, but I just prefer to do it on paper because I'm not really a fan of, well, using my phone in general, so yeah. Breakfast is done, Bible reading's done. Not gonna lie, the pancakes did taste perhaps slightly like vinegar, but I just put some more maple syrup on and it was fine. It is time to take my morning vitamins and supplements or whatever, so I'm gonna do a little show and tell. We have these little like trays that we got from Kmart. I bought some stickers with our names in it from the home label. Very, very useful for storing our vitamins, like the perfect size. Anyway, this one is not in the box because this one lives in the fridge. This is in a health pass, obviously, for gut health because um, I haven't really talked about this much, but I have acute IBS and it's not fun and this really helps a lot. So now you know. Next up is this one. It's actually my last one. I need to get some more today when I go home to Auckland. But um, this is this B complex. I've been taking this for like two years. It's just to help with mood and irritability and being a female. Next up, same brand, we have magnesium. This helps with cramps, sleeping, energy, things like that. Because every now and again, like if, if my magnesium is low, I can always tell because my eye, or one of my eyes twitches, or I get muscle spasms in like my calves and my arm. This is carbonyl iron. This is because obviously I'm a female, I get my period. And this helps to just, yeah, get my iron levels up. I don't have like iron deficiency per se. When I used to have to get blood tests for my uh, medication I was on for my skin, it always would tell me that my white blood cells are incredibly low. That's why I started taking this in the first place and I kind of just carried on. This is the hair and lashes, nails and skin effects from Sanderson's. But that's just like a little capsule obviously to help with my hair, skin and nails. And then last but not least we have these vitamin C. I just got these ones because they were the cheapest, not gonna lie. I think it was like 10 bucks for 100 of them. That's pretty good. Normally, ideally, I would take lipo sachets, which are $2 each. Ridiculous, I know. Um, but I normally take those when I'm actually sick. This is just more of a preventative measure, considering that it's winter. Also, completely off topic, but I realized in my previous video after someone commented, I forgot to put in a photo of my finished paint by numbers. Here we have it. It's just, if you haven't seen that vlog and don't understand, basically it was like a blank canvas and you paint according to the numbers and anyway um to give you guys a bit of an idea this is danny's one so she's doing the same painting but you can see like where the numbers are and then the paint correlates and then you get your paint brushes anyway from the warehouse it was 20 bucks for that and it comes with the paint the canvas and the paint brushes they come in a box that looks like that i'm sorry it's gonna be a little bit echoey in here but welcome to my bathroom when a 
dry and straight in my hair. You may or may not have noticed. Yes, I got a haircut. I was kind of, it was more like down to here. I got a bit of a chop. You probably can't really notice because it's still quite long. But yeah, since it doesn't have as much weight to it, it tends to you have a mind of its own. It's naturally pretty straight, so when I do straighten it, it lasts till the next time I wash it, which is fantastic. I just want to show you guys the products that I use. They're amazing. I got gifted them. I'm not being sponsored to say this. I just genuinely use them. They're genuinely great. In terms of heat protectant, these are the two products I use. You can use one or the other, but I choose to combine them. You've probably heard me talk about them before. The first is this, which is the Olaplex number no. six, the bond smoother. And this is the other one. So this is number no. seven, which is a bonding oil. So I literally use a tiny amount of this and a few little sheaf. I'm gonna just kind of use my fingers and like comb it through my hair. I kind of focus on the bits that I really target with the straightener, so like the fronts, the ends, um, and yeah. And it obviously helps like defrizz and stuff, which is fantastic. Highly recommend, again, they were gifted, I do have to say that, but I, I genuinely use them because I genuinely love them. I saw this one upside down just so it's easy to get out of the bottle, but I've had these both since November last year, and I've only used like a third of the bottle, and this one I will literally, it literally looks like a haven't even used it and I use it like multiple times a week so if you're looking for value for money probably would go for this one if you like yeah options and my camera battery is flashing so that is a sign that I have taken way too long to get ready so I need to get moving with the day but thank you guys for watching obviously this gives you a little bit of an insight as to how my morning routines kind of tend to go I always wake up at 6 and kind of leave the house around 10 past 8 if I have work and around 20 to 9 if I'm going to uni. Obviously, I don't have pancakes every morning. Obviously, I don't wash my hair every morning. Obviously, I don't do washing every morning. All right, I, knew, I really need to go, otherwise the camera's gonna shut me off in a second. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna vlog the rest of the day, so that should be the next video that you guys see. If that's on the video, comment a toothbrush emoji. I don't even know if there's a toothbrush emoji, but that's fine. And I'll see you guys in my next video.